That's some game faces. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hold up, bear with us, guys. Just trying to set this up real quick, and it turned orange. All right, F it. It's gonna be the video we're gonna be looking like Oompa Loompas. Hmm. So first we did. This thing is straight. All right, there we go. First we did. No dumbbell. No what? What? Are they <laughs> Been a long first, day. first we did our barbell bench. Yeah. We tried to progress on. Well, we, I was supposed. To, it was me recording, but it was progression. You were supposed to do your progression over, uh, you know what I'm saying? I try to decided to go for your one rep. Try to go on one rep. Alright, guys, I got 275 on the bench. I'm going for this one rep. See what happens, man. Let's get it. I gotta put something inspired me. I, I need my music for this. So, uh, little Drake. <laughs> Big stuff. That was the first attempt. I ain't get it. But I gotta get, I gotta, I gotta try to get it, man. Fuck this shit. I'm gonna do it. Try number two. As you can see, I didn't get it. We'll let uh, you guys see a little bit right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, for the most part, it's just form because the weight shouldn't be that much of a jump from 225 of working sets to 275. Yeah. But I think more for any, more than anything, it's just his technique because he don't have it down for a one rep. Yeah, least, so. Yeah, yeah. We, we explained it earlier. You explained it earlier to me, but yeah. yeah. If you look at the video closely, my I just like boom, boom. Yeah. I, I try to just go for it. I can. Yeah. Go. That's not good. You always want to just try to plant yourself, get a lift off the, the, the rack, and just kind of get yourself acclimated to the weight, and then come down and explode. Instead of just like what you did, where you just took it off the rack and just... Yeah, like I didn't even wait for you to um, set it up for me, like, yeah. you know, give me the lift. So, but. it was alright, you know, it's two, two good attempts, and we'll get it next, you'll get it next you don't time. Always, you, don't always get it, you don't always get it on the same day, man, yeah. it's alright. So, did that, and then you work, went on to your working set. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell by my voice, but I'm kind of sick for the last few days, so I just kind of went <laughs> I kind of just threw 275 on and just started, you know, doing whatever I can get I got like five, five, four, and then you helped me out with the last one for four as well But we didn't record that, so This guy right here, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to do the 275 and he's, he, that's just freaking working like Hey just, man, uh, years and technique and progression overload so. Yeah, but honestly, I don't want to keep on this one, but when I went back to do my, my, my progressive overload and I, just, and I did the whole technique Yeah They went up a lot easier than, yeah. than I would have, you know After the second attempt, we went in and we tried to adjust his technique and they were definitely flying up way more So, so. it's those so small things, man So 275 from him is coming soon we're yeah, that's the mission for me, man. It's gonna come soon. So. I'm not gonna let that shit beat me. <laughs> and I'm broken up, so I'm gonna. A... Yeah. How much you weighing these days, you know? Last time I weigh, I'm like a buck seventy. Like a buck seventy. Same weight, same thing. So then we moved on to incline dumbbell, which you guys are gonna see. Um, I ended up grabbing hundreds and I did four sets. I think it was anywhere from the first set, I got eight. Then eight. I think eight, eight, and then six on the last one. So I'll take it. Not bad, not bad yeah. for being sick and stuff. Yeah. So today was just really one of those days. I just had to push it, push through a sickness, and just go, just get yeah, it. Yeah, man. Them hundred pounders ain't, ain't no joke either. Yeah. Man. And if you guys notice when I do the incline, I kind of keep it a little bit closer, and it's sort of like a angled grip press instead of just being out here. It's kind of hitting delts and a little bit of the chest. I come in really close and really focus on squeezing on top. So yeah, even I mean, though mine wasn't recorded for that one, but I, you know, obviously I did the yeah. the workout. And when you told me to do that again, I felt really good. It felt yeah. You felt actually felt. It, you said I was gonna feel a little heavier, but it yeah. felt better. Yeah, it felt, you feel better. You feel more thing on your upper chest, and it made a huge difference on my chest. So I yeah. think give that a try. Just make that little tweak, and let us know what you think. I'm not gonna fry it. You know, I feel like you know how um, there's like a perfect 
line you follow and it has like that perfect path. That, of, yeah, yeah. Of, I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. It's kind of like to, to, to conclude it with cars, like you know the power band? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> perfect power band, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's the perfect peak for it, so. Yeah, yeah. But uh, after that we did, um, then we moved out to cables, so we recorded that one for you. I've been, something I've been doing a lot lately is just um, taking out another workout and just throwing in a lot of flies. Like, I think on this one we did four sets on top and then ended up doing four sets on bottom. So, eight yeah. total sets of flies. Anywhere from like 12 to 20 reps, because you guys will see that. We'll first go, well, you, you did this one, so you want to explain it? Well, yeah, that was, uh, we, yeah. I <laughs> threw you off. Yeah, you threw yeah, me off because you was already, you go ahead, man, you're yeah. doing good. So, we, um, you know, do the straight flies, you try to keep your arms with the most minimal bend. It's kind of straight for the most part. Squeeze, and then once you can't go no more, you just press it up. So press it out, this thing yeah. keep coming out of focus, man. That's it. There we go. Yeah. What's up with this camera? What's up with this shit, man? And then um, so we did first the four on top, and then ended up at the bottom, just sort of like coming in. Yeah, together. yeah. Like you do the the flies, and then you kind of want to press it as a super set. Yeah. So you just do as many yeah, as you yeah, can. Yeah. Don't. We don't really typically count reps on that one. You're going for the squeeze, the burn, and then but aim for anywhere between 12 and 20. So. Yeah, that one, that one, after a while, I feel like if you can push a little bit, you can, you know how it's a, uh, the pins, the pins that you go, you know, extra little weight. Yeah. After a long time. You know what I mean? As long as that you feel and you're going, you get that good contraction, that's the main thing. Oh, of course. Man, so next we moved on to that hammer strength press. Yeah. This one's really good. We don't have this one at gold, but. Yeah, it's a different type of one. Um, it's kind of the, the hammer strength where you start, where it starts out like really in. So you, you're not going to be able to push a lot of weight on this one. But it definitely. Oh wait, someone with the clip. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if you were making no faces, you were making no yeah, games. Yeah, you were making. That's that. That's some game faces. Yeah. Like <laughs> games. Yo, if you ain't making faces sometimes, man, you ain't making them games, man. You ain't, doing shit. You ain't pushing if you ain't making them faces. <laughs> That's a face only his mom could love, man. True, <laughs> I lied there. Oh, shit. Making no faces, man. That's all. Right. That means it's too light. It's too light. That face only your mom, his mom could love. <laughs> so then, yeah. So if you, you know, if you ain't making faces on that one, you ain't making no games. Yeah, no, that, honestly, even when I do that, I know I'm like, like yeah. that too because it's like you gotta plant yourself yeah. back and you just really push and I'm just I'm into the work and I'm feeling it yeah you so get into I don't it, care man. how I look you know uh, if you're looking funny man you know uh, that's another uh, upper chest kind of movement um as you guys will notice that I do a lot of upper chest because there's more of a lagging body part you can never have enough upper chest you see a lot of guys with like crazy under you know under chest and no nothing on top it, it just ends up looking funny so yeah. um upper chest movement and then we went on to did we record the sound? Yeah, we did that. We uh, I think that was a finisher, if you want to say. Yeah, that was a finisher. We, oh no, no, we, we, that's when we superset it. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. We did so, a superset. Yeah, we got me doing a superset. Yeah, cause I remember we did that, but I know we we did something. Yeah, no, no, of time. course. Yeah, did the superset. Um, our first first of that superset part one of that was uh incline uh barbell press. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. I don't know if you can see in the video, but I'm like really up here, man. It's I'm like, like a guillotine press. Like, there you go, yeah. Go. Guillotine, trying to chop my head off and yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm there. <laughs> so I'm there, you know, um, I keep it light, you know, just burn out with that. Yeah. Oh, high reps, okay. Nah, got that thing is good. Oh, wait. No. Bare, right, there you go. All right, that's still still I'm still in balloon action. Yeah. Hey. So we kept the light, um, kind of drip it out. I keep it in that sweet spot. I don't know if you showed it when we're recording it, but just sort of not yeah, letting it touch right. all the way bottom and not fully locking out. Yeah, just squeezing up that upper. And that's and it's just that, a sweet spot. This is like actually the first time doing that. So after that, we we superset it with the um, inside. The, it, yeah. Inside side hammer strength incline press. press. So <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just one of those movements. You don't even know the name. Yeah. For it, but you just do it. Sit on the side yeah. and that's it. Get so, that nut and you know, after that you, you bang out each arm. That one felt really good. I actually really like that one. Yeah, that was good. If you guys could set that up where you get the incline and that machine to, to do it. Or superset it with something else, you know, whatever. You guys will see that we did a lot of supersets in this workout. Simply because we, we're hitting a lot of body parts and and that's that's how you grow. You do a superset. You, you hit a lot of body parts. Muscles. And let's be honest here, you can't be there for like four hours. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you gotta do intense work quick. Exactly. And get those, get your But more than anything, you just want to push your muscle to failure, push it to fatigue, and that's how you're gonna grow. You know, not always heavy weight, but sometimes you have to throw that volume in. And that was the finish, that was the finisher pretty Great much. Chest. Chest. After that, we started with shoulders. Shoulders. So it's kind of a push day, but we ended up doing 
It was push day for the most part, except for like one or two movements. Yeah, it's push day, but like we're doing so much shoulder work, it's like we can't like not, you know, push <laughs> some. You can't not do it. Basically, we did uh, chest, shoulders, minus the very delts, and then triceps. So you guys are gonna see that. So um, we started out our shoulders with another superset, which is the front shoulder press seated. Again, you guys will see that I'm not going all the way down or all the way up. I keep it in that sweet spot while I have my shoulders kind of like. I don't want to say tight, but engaged. There you go, that's a better word. Engaged. So I have my shoulders engaged while I'm kind of just repping it out in that sweet spot. And then mm -hmm. go from there, eight to 10 super reps. Super set it with the... Uh... Super set it with some, a little bit of momentum flies just to kind of try to catch them out. So you guys will see, I try to hold it at the top sometimes, but more than anything, got my shoulder engaged and I'm trying to squeeze it. Up and top. I really like that one because it's like you're doing pressing motion, and then you're also super setting another major part of your shoulder. Yeah. Which is lateral movement, so yeah. boom, boom. Yeah. So, still, that was good. That was like the first move. I've been doing that one for a while, um, and then we moved on to. Which one did we do after that? That's the, the, this one. Yeah. Okay. Then we did um, the upright rows. <laughs> you would forget that shit. Yeah. Upright rows. Upright rows. Super sided with one yeah, arm again, at a time. Again, super sided. Super sided. Super sided. Yeah. So, so yeah, we did the upright rows. They got me recording that. Um, and again, yeah, we super set it with some up lateral, lateral, rope, lateral the one arm at a time with the one arm and lighter weight. Yeah, a little lighter, no swinging, just real straight, cleaner form. Yeah, just you're gonna you, you get a nasty pump with that. And the main thing is this one, you know, of course, do your upright rows. We did anywhere from eight to twelve. You know, do a little bit wider so you can hit the lateral head. If you do it inside, you're gonna hit more traps than anything. So that's something to keep in mind when you're doing the upright rows. Yeah. If you're doing it for traps, do it on the inside. If you're doing it for lateral head of your shoulders. Do it a little bit wider. That's good information, man. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. good stuff. It's man. good stuff, man. I try Sky, to provide the people Sky. with some uh, with some good knowledge, you know. This guy's real knowledge. And then um, super set of that with some lateral head, one arm at a time. But what you do is um, let me see if I back up a little bit. Um, you'll keep one dumbbell <laughs> over here while you're squeezing. You know when you do like a like this pose and you're squeezing your shoulders. Yeah. You kind of do that with the one dumbbell on this one while you're squeezing while you're just repping it on the other one, yeah. and then switch your arm, squeeze. Keep your shoulder engaged and just bang out the next one. And I've noticed a huge difference with my shoulders on that. When you, when you, yo, you, you know those natty shoulders are. are when you wearing the right gear and you wearing the right clothes too. You know, little yeah. tank top. You see that? You yeah, see that? See the, the, the serrates, uh, serrates, striations. Striations. You know, I say serrates up here. <laughs> striations. Just, yeah, nah, those are good. Lines, those are good, man. Nice pump on that. Yeah. After that, we moved on to. Uh, damn. So. Then we moved on to, no, we didn't do rear delt, so we ended up doing um, front, delt. front delt with the landmine press. Land press. Something I used to do a long time ago. Yeah. And I haven't, you know, this is a different gym, so we kind of just bounced around. That one felt pretty good. Um, it was okay. Kept it with three sets, did eight to 12. But I think there's better movement for front delts, but if you guys like it, give it a try. Yeah, give um, it a try, but it honestly, was, yeah, this is. It was really good today because we hit chest, so that's why I kind of just went for it because you're going to hit a little bit of yeah, upper chest, upper chest yeah. and your front delts, which usually gets hit a lot when you do chest anyway, so. Um, 8 to 12 on that one, which we recorded for me, and then we went on to, what's the, oh, the behind the neck machine press. Yeah, we did some machine work. Um, we ended up doing, you know, you did it. Yeah, that was me right there. Um, <laughs> I don't think you ever really did that one too much before, right? Not on the machine. I just do it on the machine. Split. Yeah, but I like. I usually like. I like that one because it's like you set up perfectly and as a machine, so you yeah. can just really focus on on hitting that. You know, that top part right there. That nice lateral head. Lateral head up there. That know. was pretty good. I actually really enjoyed that one. Get some head work. Some head work. <laughs> some head games. Some head engaged. Some head engaged. So but, um, yeah, it feels good. Yeah. Then we went to shoulders, right? No, triceps. We was off shoulders, this shoulders, bro. You we tired, finished bro. shoulders, right. <laughs> and then we went to triceps. Yeah. And then started with that. Oh, that, that was a pretty cool bar. That, yeah, I never used that bar before. I think I used it before, but it was pretty cool. It was a easy curl barbell, and it felt pretty good. Ended up going up to a plate in the 25, so 185. Felt good. Repped it out. Did four sets. Yeah, four eight sets. Eight to 12, something like that. So, yeah, you threw some weight on that, too. Yeah, it was not that bad. It was pretty good. I actually really liked it. You do a lot of close grip, which I haven't done in a while, but... Hey, man, who got, who got them triceps, man? Me, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, yo, don't make me, don't make hey, me take out my... You don't want to take them off, man. Don't make me take out my jacket, man, because I'm hiding the gun. <laughs> yeah. I'm and hiding then, the gun. Try it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh man, he... <laughs> I'll show you up. He want me to take out the gun, man. you can't even see it. The lighting's off right here. God damn. Boy. Get out of here, man. Uh. Ah, uh, enough of that, enough of that. Get out of here, <laughs> enough boy. Enough of that. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then we went on to. Sorry for that, YouTube. I'm sorry. I had to flex on him real quick. You know, oh, you know how it is. You guys know how it is. <laughs> we put these puppies back on, away. <laughs> they they on safety right now. But anyways, go on. Uh, we so went we did the close grip. After that, we moved on to um the super step between machine dips, the yeah. seated dips. You guys got me on. You got me on that one. Yeah. Um, that one's pretty good. I always do that one. I usually try to set that up where I can do the machine dips at a mo pretty heavy weight, moderate heavy weight to a good weight. Yeah. Good way. You don't want to like start putting too much weight that you're hurting your elbows and yeah, stuff. You yeah, know, yeah. I see that and a you're lot. swinging and people have to seat up high. They do like some half motion. Yeah, man. So man, full man. reps at a good manageable weight. Super set it with just uh, cable curls. Yeah, honestly, out. I'm gonna be honest with you. I never did that super set before, but yeah. I like that. Yeah, no, I love that one. I when I was doing my rope at that point, my arms, my to my my triceps are just toasted. Bro. Cause one thing I found with triceps and biceps as well is just burn them out. Like reps on reps on reps on reps, burn them out. Coming from a guy who who's not genetically gifted with arms, <laughs> you know, I had to work for these puppies. <laughs> yeah, so, trust me, guys. Reps on reps. I do arms basically 12 reps and up. Very rarely do I hit low reps. Um, so yeah, yeah try that one out. Super I like that. And then we went on to um, the, the one arm, arm, arm single arm cable arm. over the shoulder, which I feel like it gives it a different tension. I don't want to say it targets more your lateral head because that's not some bro science, but I feel it more on my lateral head. So I mean, I, that's where you feel it. Yeah, I try yeah, to. That, that one I that feel like it engages a little bit more right here. So. That one a lot is, is is where you feel it. Yeah, you so. can hit so many angles with that one arm pull down. You get hit yeah. straight down. And Just again, with tricep it. comes down to a lot where your elbow is. So if you've done a lot of movement where your elbow is in front of you. Try to move it up. If you do it with your elbow above you, just try to switch it up. Try to hit it from all different angles. Exactly. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. Catch that. Whoa. Uh, hey. <laughs> and PG then, 13. And then uh, you did your. My overhead tricep extension. With the, with the, easy, with the bar, easy curl, easy curl bar. Yeah. Something so, that I don't even know the name of. So yeah. Just, <laughs> just do it. I just do it. Just do it. Nah, but um, yeah, that one's pretty good. Like, and as you can see, I'm like, I um, I'm like laying back yeah, on lean that back on uh, it, the so. preacher bar, yeah, the preacher curl uh, bench. So yeah, you know, you just you know, you lean sit back. completely black back, and boom, just hack away, man. Since, yeah, and then you and end then up doing after that. Stuff. Since I'm already coming down, I you know do a little super sun, yep. throw some action, action. When I'm up to this part. That shit burns. Yeah, it's burned. Yeah, it's burned. Nah, it's it's good. Good. That was a good movement. That one, you don't want to go too heavy because then you got to start like, it's going to start being it's more swinging. And it's at the end of the workout, so you just kind of keep it focused. Yeah. That one, we focused. ended up doing like 8 to 12. Yeah, 8 to 12. And then you just burn out at the last one, so. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I think that's it. But I have these hippie chips. I don't even know what to do. I'm like, so. <laughs> yeah, about to have this. I ain't about to have it. I ain't about to have it. have a meal. <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna be, but it's gonna be. Did you, oh, did you have your protein shake, bro? I have my protein shake. They know I don't play with my anabolic window, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and more coming soon. So, peace. peace. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get used to that. Remember, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, man, give us a subscribe.